Okay, so we're back. So let's uh, change this um, code so that we're kind of letterboxing um, the... If, it, if we're outside of the viewport on the canvas, we want to letterbox it with some like black pixels. Um, so the first thought is we got to change this iteration here, right? Um, DX and DY. Uh, and we just want it to be like um, the entire canvas bounds. So we have this canvas adapter. Um, OK, so we have to, OK, so what we'll do is over here, we'll say uh, var um, uh, dx1. Oh, actually, you know what? Um, So what we could do, let's just comment this out here and we'll we'll copy this and we're gonna rewrite the um, we're gonna rewrite this and it's gonna be and this is a uh, canvas adapter dot uh, get get the width um, get width uh, minus one, and then canvas adapter dot get height and minus one, and I'm going to have to write these functions. Um, and then we're going to say rather than just looping over every pixel of destination viewport, we will loop through every pixel of canvas and draw a black pixel if the point is outside of the viewport to create a letter boxing effect. Um, now you might not want that want to do something like this, right? Because maybe, uh, maybe your intention is you want like a game that has like multiple viewports or something. And if you if you write it this way, right, then you can only have one viewport on screen because when you update the viewport, it just blacks everything else out. And uh, maybe you don't want to do it that way. But for me, um, I like to keep things simple, so I just want one viewport in the game I'm working on. So I'm going to do it this way. Uh, so I'm going to have to write this get width and get height function. And I mean, I can double click here and see, but I'm pretty sure I do. OK, yep, yeah, I do. So let's uh, go do that. Um, so I know the canvas adapter is somewhere in the bottom of all this code. So um, where are you? So here's the constructor. Yeah, so here's the canvas adapter class. Um, we have our. Uh, get and set function our get and set functions for like the pixel colors here and then uh, applying <clears throat> let's uh, create two new functions so we're gonna have um, get the width and get the width oh wait and then this dot uh, get the height okay. And I don't know how I feel about the spacing there. OK, so let's go right get width and get height. It's actually quite simple, right? Because all we got to do is we're going to take these private width and height variables and just return them, right? Um, so down here, function <clears throat> get the width. And we will just return the width variable, the private one and the height one. You might be wondering why I'm just using like an underscore W and an underscore H. Well, first of all, underscore is for private. And because it's private, I can use like more obscure variable names because you're not supposed to be digging into the private data anyways. So why do I need to make it clear for you? I don't know. That's just my opinion. 
Okay, so get width, get height. Um, so now that we have those, we should be able to um, find those call sites. Okay, so there's our call sites. And we're throwing an error right here. So we should actually see that error get thrown now because now that case is getting triggered. So let's uh, go look at the canvas and let's uh, refresh, see what happens. And we see absolutely nothing. It's probably because there's an error, which I would expect. And I do see the error of uncaught out of bounds, OOB out of bounds. So let's uh, go fix that up. Okay, uh, we want to set a black pixel uh, how are we going to do that? Um, so the canvas adapter, we are using we are using that, so it's not like we have to re-inline any code. Um, our RGB value is over here. Um, uh, since we're just going to, let's uh, just make another variable called var RGB lack equals Zero, 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 and 255. 255 for the alpha. And then we will go into this area right here, and we're going to take the canvas adapter dot put pixel code, and we're going to just put it right there. And then dx, dy, and then we're going to do RGB black. And that should be that should be all we need. So let's go over here and hope it works because I want to be done. And we're not done. Eh. Okay, what did I screw up? <clears throat> okay, note that. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to comment out this line here. Make sure we still have what we expect to see here. Okay, I just, I'm not seeing anything. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So I made another transposition error, which I I do a lot. Um, so both of the x's are zeros, right? Um, so we want something like uh, x and y here, and we want x and y here as well, right? So we want this. We want so. Top left, bottom right, right? Okay. So with that, okay. So now if we go over here, take a look at that. Ah, nice. Um, well, that seems like a little bit more zoomed in than I thought it should be, right? Because then we make sure there was like a line there. Um, so what's up with that? That's, so I'm gonna go, over here for a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna comment that out, and then I'm gonna refresh, um, refresh this. See what we got. That just well, what the eh. So that doesn't quite. So somewhere we have. Okay, let's think about this. Um. Destination X, destination Y, scanning over everything. Okay, let's, uh, so really quick, we can take the, because this is where our main change was, right? Um, let's, uh, let's take that and, sorry, oh, you can't see. We're gonna take the original bounds and we're gonna put those back and then we're gonna go back to the canvas here for a second, refresh here. Um, <sighs> okay, um, yeah. So, uh, in the as we have refactored this, I have screwed something up. And I'm not sure exactly what, but let's take a look. Uh, we're iterating through everything. 
uh, outside viewport, outside viewport is false. Um, let's uh, let's put this line back in and see what kind of feedback we get. Go to F12, I think we made a syntax error. RGB is not defined. Okay, so oops, let's um, let's not touch this. Let's put this up here somewhere, I don't know. Uh, so what I did is I uh, just put this RGB up here. Okay, let's go look at the screen again. Okay, that's correct. Um, so I guess my regions aren't the same. So let's take a look uh, and think about what did we screw up. So it's the um, so these bounds here aren't. Um, well, this is the destination. Oh, hold on. No, destination, yeah, yeah, destination. And then we're just trying to like make that bigger. All right, start there, and then the width and the height. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's uh, put this back in. Let's comment this out, and let's take a look again and see what we got. So I'm expecting it to, I'm expecting this area to look exactly the same and just be letterboxed, right? So let's uh, if we refresh, um, yeah, that's not correct. So uh, why why is that not correct? Like what is what's going on here? Um, well, there's there's two possibilities here. Um, uh, either the source or the destination rectangle are not correct. But we know from the code that we changed that uh, that we changed the destination rectangle. <clears throat> but but we changed the destination rectangle, but we're filling this whole entire area. Um, so why would why would that have any why would changing that have any effect? Um, and why would that, um, right? Because it's obviously, it's obviously iterating over the entire canvas, right? Because that's why we got the black. But then it's like, why is it doing, it's like the source that it's sampling from, it's like it's all of a sudden different there. Okay, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna think about it. Or I'm gonna stop recording, I'll get back after I've figured this out. <clears throat> 